Brompton has for a long time had frame rate multiplication features that improve the look of LED when viewed on camera. This works by displaying each video frame multiple times. But what if we were to replace them with different images from our canvas? Then numerous possibilities emerge. In this video, we will show you how to set up the frame remapping on your processor and what factors to consider. All cameras and panels will be slightly different. However, for this video, we are using a Blackmagic Ursa camera with a 90 degree shutter angle, 2.6 millimetre LED panels, and all devices are genlocked to 50 hertz by a sync generator. The first step is to select the network tab and genlock to the same source as the camera. We have connected the sync generator to the ref in connector on the processor and the camera. This ensures the panels draw their frames in sync with the camera capturing them. The sync generator is sending a signal to our camera and the processor to achieve this. The next step is to enable frame remapping and select a solid color for each frame. Set one of them to black, which is easy to then calibrate to as our LED needs to be completely off to achieve black. Set the other color to something else. This then gives us two distinct frames to calibrate to. Now, we need to adjust the phase offset to ensure only the black frame is being displayed. While this is being configured, move the value up and down till only the black frame is being displayed on your camera. Because we are using two frames, add 180 degrees to the phase offset value you have for the black frame. This should then allow the camera to capture the whole of the second frame. Now we have the two phase offsets for our two frames, change back to video for both of the frames, and on the second frame, set the offset for the video here. My wall is 576 by 576 pixels, and my content is made of squares of this size. So if I set the offset to 576x, and 576Y, I get one frame of the Brompton logo and one frame of the flying paint. It's important to remember that the settings used in this video are for the equipment we are using. However, by linking your own equipment in this way and adjusting these settings on the processor, it's possible to achieve the same results you also may need to adjust the shutter angles or in some cases create two frames of each image. Also check the frame rate capabilities of your panels to work with these speeds. The settings can be changed on the processor for one camera and if using multiple cameras you can set the phase offset on different outputs of the sync generator for each camera enabling them to see different frames. That's all for this video and should give you an understanding of how frame remapping works and how to get it working with your own equipment. See you in the next video.